Hi, this is Tag again and today I want to do a bit of a modding guide for this uh, budget Gigabyte 1156 board, the H55M UD2H. Now this modding guide is purely for LN2, so if you're on any other cooling, none of this matters actually. So anyways, this is my board I use for benching and the first mod here would be to replace a resistor or short out a resistor but it's under here so I can't show you that but I will get a uh, like do the guide on the computer or I'm just going to show you a uh, unmodded board um, this is typical cold bug mod I'm, I'm not sure which pin on the CPU it is right now but Basically the universal solution would be to look for a 750 ohm resistor close to the socket. Uh, this is like the typical mod and the second one I have here is the VPLL mod uh, here. Now in BIOS this board goes down to uh, 1.6 volts. And what I noticed is that chips run colder with lower VPLL. Uh, not too surprising, it's same behavior on a lot of 1366 chips. And on my really good i5-650, uh, I was able to do almost full pot at 1.6 volts VPLL and only about minus 170-ish uh, 165, 170 with 1.8. So this mod here is kind of the opposite of your normal VPLL mod uh, or normal um, volt mod, I should say. Uh, this actually lowers your VPLL below 1.6 volts. Uh, this is your typical uh, LM324 here. So in this case, uh, we are connecting it to the non-inverting input of this thing. So it really straightforward. It's just a variable resistor. I'm going to do the uh, mod overview on the computer later, where I show you like the pins you can use here and stuff like that. Now the RM on this board is uh, split up into that's, that's something else that might be interesting, not necessarily uh, relevant to the mods. But the VRM is split up into IGP, these two phases. One, two, three, four phases of CPU, V-Core, and one phase VTT, this one down here. Which is why our CPU monitoring wire is four capacitors up. Uh, this is the VPLL monitoring wire because VPLL is made by this little fat here. Just linear regulator, nothing fancy. Anyways, let's get this in here to show you the sport is, uh, I think that's my original one. It started misbehaving again once I, I took it out for testing because that's just what these boards do. Anyways, there is uh, a bunch of little SMD resistors here and you want to remove the fourth from the bottom and replace it with a zero ohm one or just a solar bridge or a wire. I'm going to show you this on the computer. So you can more precisely follow it. Uh, Again, there is a generalized solution. I might do a video on the generalized solution once I find out a really easy way to find it on any 1155, uh, 1156 motherboard, which I haven't so far, but it's just uh, a lot of work basically and not really all that high tech. Uh, I have to trace down which pin this uh, resistor is connected to, then tell you the pin in the socket and from there I should be able to basically give you a universal solution, sort of. Uh, anyways, that's about it for 
the bench. I am now going to move on to the computer and do the uh, in-depth mod. Okay, here we are. So first off, the cold bug mod next to the socket. What you basically want to do is remove this resistor and short the two pads. Or you can just like solder a wire over top of it. That would also work. Uh, really simple. Again, wire, solder bridge, CRM resistor, whatever you want. It's not really like anything special. No values, no nothing. Okay, let's move on to the VPLN mod. Now this is the pin we want. You can also grab it from here. From there you want your typical variable resistor. Ground. Now, value-wise, I would suggest using something like 50 to 100 kilo ohms. You don't want to use anything uh, too low here because then you're always running really low PLL. Uh, so I use 50 personally. Uh, ground pads, there is a, a screw hole up here somewhere. And personally, I used, if you maybe seen it in the video, uh, there is the 24 pin up here and there is a MLCC right below the 24 pin and the right leg of that or right pad rather of that MLCC is ground so that's that's basically your ground points on this I think that's about it really short mod overview here so if you plan on taking your uh, 1156 32 nanometer chips to full pot. I hope this helps. And yeah, bye.